Greetings everybody, I'm Nick DiVirgilio and today we're gonna have a lot of fun with the Roland SPDSX Pro. Roland's been making multi-pad instruments since the 1980s, making it possible for drummers and percussionists alike to have all kinds of interesting sounds right at their fingertips. The original SPDS came into the market back in 2003 and brought even more ways for drummers and bands to raise their production value. With the introduction of the SPDSX, Roland made it even easier for bands to play along with backing tracks triggered directly from the sample pad. Along with an endless array of sounds, whether internal or your own custom samples, the SPDSX became an invaluable production tool for musicians all over the world. Now with the amazing SPDSX Pro, Roland has made an amazing instrument that is very easy to use or as deep and complex as you want it to be. This unit is more than capable of withstanding the rigors of the road, making it a piece of gear you can rely on night after night. In today's video, I'm gonna take you around the machine and show you some of the highlights and how easy it is to use, so let's get started. First things first, if you've taken a long time to become an expert on the SPDSX, then you'll be happy to know that anything you can do on the old machine, you can do on the SPDSX Pro. You're not gonna to have to learn a whole new way of doing things. If you're a newbie, you don't have to worry either. The SPDSX Pro really is very easy to use. 1,550 sounds come preloaded in the SPDSX Pro. 200 total kits are available with the first 43 pre-configured from Roland. You can change those preloaded kits any way you like. The kits load very fast, so if you need to switch from one to the next in a live setting, you're not gonna have to wait around for the samples to load. Also, if there are effects on a particular kit, like a long delay, for example, when you switch to the next kit, that delay tail will not get cut off. It goes to the very end, even when you switch to the next kit, and that's a great feature. One of the best things about the SPDSX Pro is the way it sounds. Let me take a few moments right now and play through some of the kits for you.
Hopefully you could tell how many great sounds come standard in the SPD SX Pro. It's a lot of fun. You could be here for hours. Just turn on the machine, put on some headphones and play. You don't even have to menu dive or anything. Just turn up the jog wheel or the plus and minus buttons and you're gonna be here for a long time because there's so much to do in here in the SPD SX Pro. But now I wanna take you through some of the fun features, show you what all the buttons and knobs do. So let's get started. A really great feature in the SPD SX Pro is called pad sequencing. That's where you can take one of the pads, program it to play all of the other pads in any form you like, all the way up to 16 different sounds, and then use that as a performance. Let me show you how that works. The menu button is gonna take you to a lot of different things inside the SPD SX Pro. So hit menu, a lot of things come up here. Just use the up and down, right and left arrows to get you where you need to go. Go to the one that says pad sequence, hit enter. Now just press the button underneath the word set, then hit the pads in any order you want. Here we go. Right under the word that says step number, it says pad sequence pad. You gotta go down there and then you tell the SPDX Pro which pad you want to play the sequence. So I want to play pad number three, the top right, pad three. Now that's gonna play that sequence of notes. Now you can use that in a performance. It's pretty cool. Pretty fun feature. There's nine pads on the SPD SX Pro. Six square right here in the center and three elbow pads along the top. All of the pads have increased sensitivity with no crosstalk between the pads. I've been playing this unit pretty hard for a number of days now and have not experienced crosstalk even one time. The unit has LED lights all around the pads that are fully customizable, which is really cool. You can have them stay on all the time, pump with the music, or stay on for the same amount of time that the sample on the pad plays. The color palette for the lights is huge too. No more need for glow in the dark tape all over your machine so you can see it in between songs. Program the lights exactly how you want them to be. Another nice feature is that all of the control buttons are backlit as you can see down here. Again, you'll easily be able to see what you need to on a dark stage. The unit comes with a beautiful 4.3 inch color screen making it easy on the eyes when you get into editing and deep into the menus. Let me take you through the buttons and knobs and we'll get into some of the menus as well so I can show you how these things work. Over here on the left of the machine, you have your master volume, phones volume, and click volume. Right next to that is the click start and stop button. Bottom left is the master effects knob. There's a lot of amazing effects all throughout the SPDX Pro. So you can turn on the master effects right here and turn up the amount with the knob. Right next to the master effects knob is a quick and easy pad edit feature. Pad edit knobs where you can turn up and down the volume, turn up and down the pitch, or if you hit the select button and go to the bottom row, you can mess with the transient attack and the transient release of any wave or sample in the machine. Let me show you what I mean. I have a snare sound right here in this middle pad. Hit the select button. Let's turn down the volume. Pitch can go up and down with the next knob. Then, Hit the button one more time, it's down at the bottom row. So if you want the transient to be a little bit slower, the attack to be a little bit slower, turn the knob. That's more attack, turn it down, you have less attack. Not so much attack right at the beginning of the sound, right? And the release of the sound right there. So you can really design and tweak your sounds really quickly without having a menu dive at all with the knobs right there. The LCD screen shows you a lot of information without having to touch anything. You have six different buttons at the bottom that do a lot of things. There's the pad view, then the button right next to it is the layer pad. You can have up to two sounds, two layers on each pad, making the, the sound palette really endless. You can really design some really cool things. Hit the button to go between A and the B layer. Pad progress, exit. You can make click adjustments by hitting the click button. Quickly get to some tools here where you can copy the kit Kit name right here on the button. You don't have to hit the menu button first. You can do that right by hitting the tools tab in the main screen. 
And then you can also go right to your set list and set up your set list. A really cool feature in the SPDSX Pro is making set lists. So when you get to your gig, every kit in your set will be lined up without having to scroll between kit number one and then kit number 50 and back and forth. Wherever the kits are inside the machine, you set them up in the list and they'll go right there immediately. You can also set up a bunch of different set lists for different gigs. So say one night you're doing a blues gig, the next night you're doing a rock gig. You can have all the different kinds of set lists already pre-programmed in your machine. Now to the right side over here, you have an all sound off button, which is super important. When you're on a gig and things go wonky, because once in a while, as solid as this machine or any machine is, once in a while, you never know if something bad's gonna happen or you get a power surge or who knows what. If anything goes weird and you need to turn them off, you hit the all sound off button and anything that's playing will get cut off immediately. The pad check button means you can audition each sound on a pad before you program it if you want. Menu, that's the main menu button that takes you into all the different menus inside the machine. We'll get to that in a second. If a particular button has another feature on it, you hit the shift button first and then the other button you wanna to go to and you can go to those other features. Obviously your kit button takes you back to the main kit page from wherever you are. A value jog wheel, which is kind of the same as the plus and minus buttons. Up and down, left and right arrows, enter and exit. Now let's get into the menus. This is where all of the magic happens, all of the programming, everything is inside the menus here. It's also worth mentioning that the SPD-SX Pro has its own app, so you can connect the machine to your laptop and do all of the same editing features inside the app on a big screen, on your computer screen, and then send stuff back and forth, making it a lot easier on the eyes if you need it to be that way. But it's also really easy right here on the machine too. So just hit the menu button and all kinds of things are in here. We're gonna stick with kit edit one for just a second here. First one is pad edit. This is where you're gonna program, change the sounds, and do all kinds of stuff on each individual kit. Hit enter, and there you go. On the top right of the LCD screen, it says pad, and you can see all nine pads. Whenever you hit a pad, a little blue dot will change to show you what pad you're hitting. So now I'm on the bottom right, in the center, and so on. So it follows you around. Also, I have two pedals connected to the SPD-SX Pro, the KT-10 kick drum pedal and the FD-9 hi-hat pedal, making it like a little mini drum kit, which is super cool. Let's start with the sound on this center pad right here. There's nothing there right now. Turn the value wheel and you'll start hearing sounds. And so on. Remember, there's 1,550 sounds in here, so it's gonna take some time to go through all of them and audition them, but just go. Let's find a snare sound. All kinds of amazing acoustic sounds, electronic sounds, effect sounds. I mean, it's really endless. We're gonna start with that deep sounding snare acoustic. Now, if you wanna add the second layer, just move your arrow over to layer B and add to it. That's kind of cool. It's really different. So you can hear the difference here in this demo. If you want to change the volume of each one, it's really simple. Just go down to the volume square, change the volume. So let's turn this one up a little bit. Now it's really loud, turn it down, all that kind of stuff. You can also change the pitch. The chorus button is larger increments of pitch. Fine is finer, so. Pretty cool. I'm gonna turn the pitch of the main snare up a little bit. There you go, so just tweak it to however you like. Now when you go up to the top screen, there's different ways of layering the sounds, which is pretty cool. So right now it's on mix, so both sounds are gonna play at full volume, however I had them mixed on the previous page. But there's also fade, where you can have the sound fade in depending on how hard you hit the pad. There's a couple different versions of that. And also a crossfade, where the sound can crossfade depending on how hard you hit the pad. So now the sound is crossfading into the other sound depending on how hard I hit. So it's, that's the first sound. If I hit the pad harder, the other sound will come in. That's pretty neat. If you have a loop set up on a pad, this is where you can turn it on or off. I have it on, where you can have it play one time, which is called a one shot, or alternately, every time you hit the pad, it turns it on and then back off again. So, 
Now it's off. If I have it on one shot, every time I hit the pad, the loop will start over. If you scroll down to the page at the bottom, there's a full EQ section where you can EQ every sound that you program on each pad. You can turn the EQ on and off. You can turn the layer on and off. All kinds of things, all right there to really sculpt every sound you put into the machine. And the bottom page is where you can tweak the transient attacks and transient releases just like you can with the knobs over here quicker. You don't even have to go into this menu page. You can do it right there on the pad edit knobs like I showed you earlier. Next, let's talk about effects. There's tons of great effects in the machine. This is where you program them. Go to the output and effects page, hit enter. So you can route the effects from any pad to any output on the machine and really just program it to your heart's content. One of the cool features that the SPDSX Pro has on it is side chaining. That means you can have a certain sound affect the effect, if that makes sense. I'm gonna show you what I mean. What you're gonna notice is I'll play the kick drum like in quarter notes and you'll hear the sound kind of go in and out at that tempo. Then I'll play the kick drum on all the eighth notes and the playback will almost go away. That's because it's turning down and compressing the other sounds and almost taking them out. This is what's happening with the side chain. Check it out. That's a really cool effect. You can really make the music pump, especially if you're into dance music and that style of thing. You can really make your sounds pump, come out of a loud PA. It's gonna sound really cool. And again, there's tons of effects inside the SPDX Pro, so you can really sculpt the sound to your heart's desire. Delays, reverbs, distortions, all kinds of stuff. And then again, route them anywhere you want to as well. Then there's some pretty basic ones as you go on. Kit volume, change the volume of each kit. Also change the volume of the direct outputs, each pad and where they're going, the volume of those things. Kit name, obviously name the kit. Closed pedal is where you can adjust the hi-hat pedal if you have one plugged in. Pad sequence, I showed you that earlier. Pad LEDs, this is cool. You could change the color of the LEDs anywhere you want. Just scroll with the up and down arrows, right and left, and change the color. There's also user colors here. So if you don't like the simple colors that are in it, go into the user color and make up your own. You can change the colors of the horizontal and the vertical ones, however you like. This is also where you can make the color stay on, go off, dynamic pump with the music, however you'd like to have them programmed, you can do that right in here. The last one I wanna show you here is pad link. This is a really cool feature. What you can do is have one pad turn on any of the other pads you have connected to it. So this is great when you wanna to play to backing tracks and also have a click assigned to that. You don't want the click to go out to front of house, but you wanna hear the click as the player. So on the demo, like I did at the very beginning of the video, I have a programmed click and the backing track, but you don't hear the click. So when I hit the one pad, it turns on the backing track and the click for me. In the screen, you could see that pad number one has a little blue line going to pad number two. Those are the ones that are linked. And you can link, again, any of the nine pads to any of the other pads. You can also pad mute. You can also have the same thing set up, but mute. So hit one pad, it'll turn other pads off. So lots of great performance features in the SPD SX Pro. I'm gonna quickly take you through some of the other menus here. Kit Edit 2, you have Kit Click. Program the click however you want. All kinds of different subdivisions where you can hear the different subdivisions and turn the volumes of the subdivisions up and down. Set it up to where the click plays internally only, or you can send the click out of one of the outputs in the back. All kinds of different things there. Kit MIDI, the expression pedal. This is cool. So now I have the hi-hat pedal into the expression pedal input on the back of the machine. You can also have an expression pedal mess with the effects inside the machine. So if you want to turn up a delay, for example, you can have an expression pedal connected turn up the delay on and off, turn up the compression on and off, the reverb tail, anything like that can go through the expression pedal. The next menu is the wave. This is where you can play your own wave, set up your own samples inside the SPD SX Pro. Along with the 1550 sounds, you can use all your own samples if you want to. So your sound palette is gonna be endless for you. List shows you all of the waves inside the machine, including your own if you wanna have them in there. You can import, export, delete your waves, 
all kinds of different things. You can also sample directly into the machine. So if you want to sample directly into it, just go to the sampling page, hit enter. And then if you have something connected to the input on the back of the machine, it'll show up here, set the volume with the volume knob in the back, hit the pad, start sampling, chop it up right inside the machine or inside the app, and you're good to go. Next is the system menus, lots of deep diving stuff in here, pad and trigger inputs, set all those up, the system click, MIDI controls, the control setup, you can reinitialize the machine, everything happens inside the main system menus. So you can dive in really deep if you want to and do all the programming here. It really is easy to program. You don't have to go to every page if you don't want to. That's if you really kind of want to get tweaky about stuff, but the super easy way to do it is just go inside, put a sound on a pad, turn it up and down, add a layer if you want to, and then have some fun. The SPDSX Pro comes with 32 gigabyte of internal memory, giving you more than enough room to store multiple gigs worth of sounds and backing tracks. The SPDSX Pro supports 16-bit, 48 kilohertz audio files in WAV, AIFF, or MP3 format. There's more audio outputs on the SPDSX Pro than in the previous models. Two balanced stereo outputs and four mono outputs. All of the outputs are fully assignable, so you can route any pad to any output. And that makes it really great for your front of house engineer. There's also more trigger inputs too. You have the ability to add up to eight mono single zone triggers or four dual zone triggers. You can add a hi-hat such as the VH10 or the one I have here today, or you can also add a simple expression pedal to use that for hi-hat function. In total, if you wanna go whole hog, you can have up to 19 different playing surfaces with the SPDSX Pro. On the back, you also have regular five pin MIDI in and out, the headphone jack. There's a slot for a memory stick where you can use it to import your own samples, backing tracks, and store kit data. There's also a USB jack as well, so you can do USB over MIDI, connect the machine directly to your computer to use the SPDSX Pro app, or have it connect directly to your DAW, and you can even use the SPDSX Pro as your interface if you like. Last but not least, on the back is that audio input jack I was talking about, and its level knob. You can sample directly onto the SPD-SX Pro like you can on the SPD-SX. Plug your audio source in there and sound design to your heart's content. Make your own loops, combine your sounds with any of the 1550 sounds that come inside the machine and make completely one of a kind kits. Another thing that's cool about that audio input is that it can be used as your headphone box in a live setting. Instead of a separate headphone box, go right into the SPD-SX Pro if you're using the machine to run tracks and samples, you're gonna to have to monitor those sounds anyway. Have the monitor engineer send your mix to the audio jack, set the level where you like, and you're off to the races. It's a very small but very cool thing for live performance. And there you go, folks, an overview of the super powerful, easy to use and great sounding SPD SX Pro. If you'd like any more information about this Roland product or any other Roland product, just contact your Sweetwater sales engineer. Thanks for watching, I'm Nick DiVirgilio.